Good evening and the game changers. Tonight we're going to be looking at Vaccine, a procedurally generated survival horror game from indie developer Rainy Frog. Now I'm a massive Resident Evil fan. In fact, I often cite Resident Evil 2 as one of my favourite games of all time. And even though tank controls have aged badly, the game still holds a large space in my heart. And the more recent HD re-releases of Resident Evil and Zero have made the perfect halfway transition between the old and the new. But what we've got to remember is, in the end, the most important bit of new nostalgic games is to make the game that you think you remember rather than what actually happened and what actually was at the time. And that's where Vaccine falters. Now Vaccine brings back the tank controls on the fixed cameras and takes place in a mansion where you control one of two characters, the other being infected. Now the game starts with the very bizarre, despite all your best efforts, your friend got infected again, which is kind of never really explained. And then the game gives you 30 minutes to find the cure and return to your infected companion, who basically sits there on the bed glitching like crazy. Now every time you complete the game, the time gets shorter, making it increasingly more difficult each time. But the main hook of the game is that every time you play, the mansion is totally rearranged. Now, while procedurally generated games are fine in theory, this one has got some problems in that luck plays way more of an important part than it should. Now you always get a knife in the first room, but sometimes you never really see a gun at all and end up being pushed up against a seemingly impossible enemy encounter. Now all of this could be a lot more doable if the controls were tighter, but generally they're pretty horrible. Now I realise this is harking back to a control system of yesteryear, but this definitely could have been a in the spirit of instead of a direct copy of, and as such it has not aged well. Now there are other things that are a massive problem, such as spotting items that you can pick up, and the fact that you must be super pixel specific in terms of being in a place to interact with these said items. It's super frustrating trying to work out how to get a key or how to pick up a weapon when actually you run past something you needed to pick up about two or three times but you just couldn't really see it in amongst all the muddy mess of pixels. Now to top all of this off the fact the game's actually really hard and I expect most will stop playing long before they get to the true ending. Now I really do see what they were trying to achieve, and for the diehard Resident Evil fan there might be something here, but in all honesty Vaccine is a nice idea that doesn't really pay off, and leaves the game being better off left well alone. If you've enjoyed tonight's video please like and subscribe. Remember to come and check us out at thegametutor.co.uk where news, articles and videos are updated on a weekly basis. Also please check us out on Twitter, Facebook and Dailymotion.